Where can you find a more perfect and rare single level, three bedroom, two bathroom townhome here in beautiful Craigieburn, five at 48 Pearl Drive. Guys, my name is Adriano Pesquetti from Mind Real Estate and welcome to this amazing home. I'm here to show you through the property in its entirety. Guys, don't forget, like, share, tax on this post that may be interested. I promise I'll get to view the property before it hits the market. I'm back in Craigieburn today and I've got this beautiful home which I'm gonna show you through. A um, few things to give you a little bit right at the start. It's about 203 square meters of land, built back in about 2012. Um, and it is a townhouse, so it is part of a bigger development, but they're all street facing. So as you can see, uh, it's elevated. It's got a beautiful, pretty facade, which I really, really love. You've got these beautiful yakas at the front, and that's the, the first of the three bedrooms, which is the master at the front, which we're gonna have a look at. All we've done is trimmed it back, recreated the garden beds, Pressure washed and given it a nice clean overlook behind your garage door. So that's a single car garage through there. Plus you get an additional parking spot in the driveway off strip, which is great. And you are in a little cul-de-sac here in Pearl Drive. Really, really quiet. So there's plenty of street parking as well. So let's go through guys and welcome you through to your brand new home. So the first thing that you'll notice as you come in, there's a nice little foyer area brand new plus gray carpet. So they go through the majority of the house. There are a few um, tiled areas, which you'll see, but the carpets are brand new. We have also freshly painted the property throughout. So it's given it a nice move in that turnkey style ready as well. So into the first room we go, and this is the first of three bedrooms. The traditional floor plan of the master at the front. So this is the biggest or largest room in the property, it's a really good size room. You get loads of natural light because you've got three nice big panel windows that winds out to let uh, nice airflow in. And again, you've got beautiful streetscape here. So with these beautiful palms or these yakas behind you is quite good. And as you can see, it's a really good size. Uh, this is a queen bed, so you, just so you can see. So there's enough room on either side through there. And then just through over that way, the first door, into your walk-in robe, as you can see there. So it's a nice L-shaped walk-in robe with plenty of hang space and shelf space up the front. And then the door to your right is a nice, clean, freshly clean, thanks Michael and his team, ensuite bathroom, no frills. You got a little vanity with mirrors, toilet tucked around the corner, as well as a nice, clean shower. It's all you really need in an ensuite. Come on up, hot guys. So, up the hallway. I actually quite like the hallway look. Into the second room. Again, double room. Bedroom number two. Freshly carpeted, of course. We've got new LED lights as well. So they're through the property to give it a bit of a nice modern look, as well as it's all about trying to save money too. So being that it is LED lights, your costs will keep down because they actually eat cheaper to run. You've got a nice little look, well, not really a nice little look, but a look outside to your services, but let some lateral light that comes in, which is great. And it is fitted with nice big built-in robes, as you can see there. So we've even gone and car recarpeted into the robes, which I quite like. So you've got hanging space and shelf space up the top. So that's, of course, bedroom number two. And then we continue up the hallway. So behind this door, we're gonna to have to probably be a little bit of a maneuver. So George is gonna come around. And I'll walk you through. So into your single car remote garage. So we haven't repainted the floor. This was done some time ago, but we have pressure washed to give it a nice clean, uh, but all the walls are repainted as well, which is great, inclusive of ceiling. Uh, as you can see, remote control. Um, so it does come into your single car garage, which is perfect to fit any type of car. There's even power points in here. So for those that are, of you that actually have um, electric car, electric power vehicles, you can actually plug it in straight into there, which is quite good. Um, I'll even press the button just to show you. So there is a wall button there, just to show you that the door does come up, which is great. And I'll stop that and go back down as we continue in through the property. So through door number three, same side as the garage is bedroom number three. So again, very similar to bedroom number two, virtually the same size. So check out the floor plan to see the exact dimensions online. Again, window to let natural light through, nice big queen bed, 
and your built-in robes on this side as well. So very, very similar um, of the two bedrooms. And then through the through back to the other side, I'll show you into your second bathroom. So this is the main bathroom. This is gonna serve as guests as well as the other two bedrooms. And as you can see, beautifully cleaned again, vanity, nice big mirror. We've got the bathtub as well. So for those families with kids or people that love taking a bath, you've got it there. Plus your shower as well. Braemar system. So this system was updated um, not too long ago. Um, so that is a new uh, system, as you can see there, or it's a new thermostat. So that does do the whole house. Um, it is heating only. And then the next room through there, you've got your laundry. So it is a full laundry, not a European laundry, which is great. Very simple, uh, as you can see there into the toilet, so that's the second toilet. And then at the back of the home is your open plan, kitchen, dining, and lounge zone tucked away, which I really, really love the fact that it's tucked away. Uh, as you can see, loads of natural light that comes in here. Uh, just depends from both sides, but we're gonna start in the kitchen just to go over the kitchen. So the kitchen is original, guys, original appliances, Original, actually the dishwasher has probably been updated at some stage, it's not original. However, it's not brand new. Bench on this side with dual sink, as you can see there, as well as stainless steel dishwasher. So again, it was updated at some stage, it is not brand new. Um, so again, you can, if you wanted to update your appliances, you could. On the other side is your cooking station. So you got your four, four burner gas cooktop, as you can see there. ta -da, four burner gas cooktop. You've got your 600 mil electric oven, as you can see there. So really nice appliances. You've got cupboard space up the top, as well as a retractable in there. And plus, you've also got your fridge cavity over here. So the good thing I like about this fridge cavity is there's no shelving. It's not boxed in, which is great. So it's gonna fit a pretty much every type of fridge on the market that you can. And the fact that there's nothing up above too, so you can add shelf space if you want up there. But again, a really good practical kitchen without being a waste of space. So again, you are in a unit type um, home, so you're not gonna get the massive space that you're gonna get with other um, bigger homes. And then of course, this flows through to your dining zone, which is just off the beautiful little courtyard. So again, central zone, light fill, because you get loads of natural light that comes in here as well plus the new LED lights that have been put in here add a little bit of pizzazz and a little bit of extra brightness. Breakfast bar around the corner there. So there's a little breakfast bar that you can see just there. And then into your lounge zone. So your lounge zone is fitted with split system. Uh, that's heating and cooling. So that'll do the back part of the property. Um, there isn't any cooling at the front, but if you wanted to, you can easily put a split system at the front if you want. But again, that's gonna do here. Again, loads of natural light that come through, which is great because obviously that's what you want. You wanna not necessarily have to turn on the lights all day around, but those nice big beautiful windows let in loads of natural light, which is great. All the windows are fit out with, with the blackout ones. Um, the introduction of the shelf there, which is good. So beautifully styled again from Lil and the team, just to give you a little bit of something. TV mounted on that wall, which is great. Again, a very practical space for someone that is looking at obviously getting into the market for the first time, young professional couple, small family, even downsizers, this is gonna suit them because there's no stairs whatsoever in this place. And then you've got your nice big sliding door out to your very low maintenance courtyard. So again, we've given this a little bit of a mini makeover. You'll notice that obviously with recreated garden beds, we've stripped out the trees, overgrown, laid some nice black mulch in a couple of garden beds. Um, we've weeded all, all the rest of the sides, so all this area is on tidal. You've got your nice little, it's actually a little bit bigger than a little, garden shed there, leaf blower, and whatnot. For those men out there, you could even turn this into a little mini man cave, which is great. You've got your attractable clothesline through here, and this just takes you all the way up through to the second bedroom, which we so initially, so that's the home guys. Um, as I said, it's a really awesome home to get into the market, especially for those young professionals. Uh, investors, it's been uh, 
uh, an investment property for our landlords since it was built back in, in 2012. So they're at the point uh, of retiring, so they no longer need it. So if you're looking at it as an investment opportunity, you're gonna get some good rental yields here. You're in a magnificent location, as I said, on the fringes of the Oak Hill Estate, um, Aiken Boulevard behind us. You're literally up the road from Craig Gibbon Central, which is amazing. It's got everything you, you could want. Splash Park is over there for those getting into those warmer months. So for those families with kids, Splash Park is a massive attraction here in Craigieburn. Um, you've got plenty of transport options with buses, as well as Craigieburn Station, which is about four odd Ks up Craigieburn Road. Don't forget, of course, Craigieburn Golf Course, um, which is amazing. So that is all within the close proximity of where your future home sits. So guys, thanks very much for taking the time and having a tour. As I said, guys, initially, don't forget, like, share, tag someone in this post that may be interested. They'll get to view the property before it hits the market. If you've got any other questions about this home or you're thinking of selling your home, it doesn't necessarily have to be in Craigieburn. I do sell right around Melbourne and surrounds. Feel free to give me a call anytime. I'd love to have a chat uh, or even in relation to this property, uh, give me a call 0402 Guys, thanks very much for taking the time and having a tour. And I can't wait to meet you at one of the opens. Cheers.